What the 900 entries demonstrated to us is that representational portraiture is very much alive in Australia and that the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize has done much to foster this. We decided to select what we consider the strongest work, not to be influenced by the status of the subject nor the importance of the artist if we happen to recognise the artist's style. I might add that the judging was, as in the best tradition, blind, that is, we didn't know who the artists were. And we came down to a short list that forms the exhibition you see today here on the ground floor. The judges were impressed with the overall quality of the entries and after much discussion and consideration arrived at the short list and the winner and the decision was unanimous. The winner of the 2012 Doug Moran National Portrait Prize, for which received $150,000, is Leslie Rice for his painting Self-Portrait with the Muses of Painting and Poetry. It's hard to know how to feel about winning the, the Moran Portrait Prize. I never thought I'd win twice, so this time I never really dreamed of it. It's a strange feeling that of uh, kind of knowing you've made a good work and I was happy to be in the conversation with the other portraits in the room. But then to win it is strange, to, it's so unexpected. The blackness of the paintings is something that's deliberate, it's not accidental. I, I like the work to be uh, quite dark and kind of brooding, but it, I like to think that it rewards patience, that if you will sort of spend some time looking at the dark work, it kind of opens up to you in ways. Uh, I don't like it to be too obvious. I remember um, somebody saying to me once that in a, a room full of people where everybody's talking really loudly, the best way to be heard is to speak really quietly and then everyone has to shut up and listen. So in a, in a sort of a room full of paintings, when I used to sort of see portrait prizes or, or other exhibitions, and the works are quite large, and they're quite daunting and they're quite overbearing, I think I'd like to make works that are sort of smaller and darker and, 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 and whispering almost, visually whispering. Um, this is the largest painting I've ever made. Uh, it just suited the scale, suited this, they're often smaller than this. But I, I like to sort of have a, a room full of paintings and have this kind of dark hole that kind of sucks the light in to, to, to be the work that I've made. I mean, I've been told sort of many times by people to stop making black velvet paintings because they're just a, a nasty thing to do. And uh, I've had a few of them say apologise to me since the first Moran Portrait Prize. I might have a few more apologies this week. But you just have to stick to your guns and plug away. Trust your instincts, and, uh, but you never think you're going to win.